Welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. Today on our decluttering journey, we're working on Gage's room, so stick around. We are a family of five living on a ranch in Texas. On our channel, we will cover a variety of topics. These are solely based on our experience and opinions, and we do not hold any degrees in childhood development or education. Hi, welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. I'm Jessica. Today in our decluttering journey is the first day of our schedule. Um, as you can tell, my kids are in the background making a bunch of noise probably. So today we're gonna start in Gage's room. And like I told you on another video, we're gonna, I'm gonna start from one end of my house and go to the complete opposite other. So one question that you might have is, how do you keep from getting distracted when you're decluttering one room by not going into another and start cleaning up that area? Great question. This is what I choose to do. So I get the biggest laundry basket that I have because if I find something in Gage's room, I don't want to take it like to the kitchen or to the laundry room or wherever it may go. So I put the basket by the door and whatever I find in the room that I'm working on, I just place it in the basket. So I carry the basket room to room to room with me as I find things, I just put it in the basket. And when I get to the next room, I'll take out first, I will take out whatever I find in the basket that goes in that new room, put it away, clean the room, place unwanted things into the basket, and just keep going, so on and so forth. So here we go with Gage's room. Now we've already decluttered most of our house. We've done one round of it. This is the second round and hopefully, hopefully by April 5th, we're on the maintenance mode. So here we go. Okay, so books. Books might be a concern for you. Gage has this little, I think it's a top of a hutch, but it's a little bitty cubby shelf. Yeah, that's his favorite book. So he has this little bitty, that hurt. You just whacked me in the face with that. So Gage has this little bitty cub, cubby shelf type thing. It's only about three feet tall about four feet wide and I could get the fancy baskets to put on there I can even organize the books big ones small ones you know paperback hardback whatever however I want to do it but the fact that remains he's still going to get into it he's this is his room he has control and um, so one thing's one of the things that I just let be let go let do he can put them however he wants, as long as they're on the shelf. That's my compromise, if you will. As long as the books are put up on the shelf, it doesn't bother me how they're put up. Um, you know, I came through and organized them. I showed him how to put, there's really big books here in the bottom corner. They don't lay flat. They d there's no other way to get them in to where they're not sticking out of the bookcase. So I showed him how to put them in. I organized them all when I first put this shelf in here. But him, his sisters, they love to read books. They get into them all the time. But I mean, and I go my he has big, a good variety. I go this big, but... Awesome. It's upside down. But he has ABC books, Ninja Turtles, um, Animals on the Farm, everything. His sisters have the same uh, amount of books in their room. I think they actually have more because they have all the princess books. But 
Like I said, again, it's his room. It's his no. Yeah, there are books on this shelf up here. They're the more uh, you need mom and dad's help to read kind of books. There are bedtime story books. These are just kind of free for all books they can get out during the day, um, and they play with them. So I mean, books. It's one. It's one of my. Um, compromises as a parent it's one of the things I have to do I feel because he wants the books in his room I want him to have access to the books I bought him the shelf but I just can't mandate especially at three that they stay precise neat and tidy as long as they're on the shelf I accept that so it's one of the things to keep in mind. Okay, so we have essentially got the room pretty well turned around. I didn't really do much. I took a poster down and moved it and moved the fan because he's been getting really, really super hot at night. Um, so that was basically it. I moved the bed to where the fan could blow on it a little bit easier. Vacuumed, that was about it. So now we're gonna move on. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to his closet. So, essentially what I'm going to do in the closet is, be careful, essentially what I'm going to do in the closet is go through, um, it's still pretty cool here some mornings, so I'm not going to take out all the winter clothes, but for the majority, I could take out the sweatpants because it is spring in Texas, it's humid, it's hot, um, so I'm going to take out the sweatpants, the, um, Probably all but one or two pair of his long sleeve pajamas, um, long sleeve pajama tops with pants. So take out the um, long sleeve pajamas and pants, um, sweat shirts. He does have a hoodie. He also has like a winter jacket that's a little bit thicker. So I'm pretty sure we can get down to t-shirts, um, tank tops for summer. He loves jeans. So even if it's colder outside he wears jeans he's not a big fan of sweatpants at all um so basically that's it just gonna go through his closet right fast pull those things out make him more room and make sure that i have clothes that i can make an outfit real super quick out of or he can even make his own outfits at three i mean for him it's basically jeans and a shirt so there's not a whole lot of color comparison to look nicer. So just make it easier, simple for him. But we did make this closet extension um, in one of the other videos that we have posted. We did one in here, one in the girls' room. So evaluation of that, it comes in super, super handy. I don't have to mess with a dresser. Um, neither None of the three kids have a dresser. They all have this system. Um, Curtis and I basically share a dresser so we don't have a whole whole lot of clothes so here we go so that was it for Gage's uh, room Got his clothes sorted out and got his bed moved around. He gets super, super sweaty at night. So I had to move that bed around to accommodate where I could put the fan. And hopefully he'll sleep much better. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to get all notifications. Um, when the rest of these videos come out. It is going to be a probably a two-week journey um, through our decluttering process. So until tomorrow, happy decluttering and happy parenting.